sun and CO2 to make glucose, the sugar that they use for food. They also put oxygen into the air so we can share because oxygen is everywhere. Welcome back. In the last video, we talked about some of the uses of energy. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to cover the next dot point, which says describe the role of photosynthesis and respiration in ecosystems. Now, first of all, what is an ecosystem? An ecosystem is just any area. So, for example, if we say, right, Sydney, that Sydney is the ecosystem, and then all living and non-living things in that area is our ecosystem. So the ecosystem itself is just any area that we choose, and all non-living thing and living things, so abiotic and biotic factors, make up that ecosystem. That's what an ecosystem was. And it says, describe the role of photosynthesis and respiration in ecosystems. So the verb itself is describe. Last time we had identify. Describe means we have to give a bit more detail. But before we start, I want to quickly go over what energy actually was, because we talked about energy in this video, last video, and we're going to talk about it again in this video. And what you can imagine, food itself, obviously has energy. But where did food itself get that energy from? So, I mean, food has energy, which we need to survive in the chemical form. So there's chemical energy, and there's different types of energy. So here are the different types. So there's chemical energy, there's nuclear energy, mechanical, thermal, electromagnetic, and electricity, electrical energy. And food is in the form of chemical energy. But where did it get this energy from? And that's what we're going to talk about in this video, because it actually gets it from originally from the sun. So it's basically nuclear chemical energy, which is the energy from the sun, transformed into chemical energy, which is in the form of food, which we can then eat and get our energy from. And that's what the role of photosynthesis and respiration is. That's basically that in a nutshell. So I'll cover the actual dot point. It says, describe the role of photosynthesis and respiration in ecosystems. So I'll start with the actual word photosynthesis. Now, photosynthesis is all about making glucose or making sugar. And sugar itself is really important for plants. So these, this making sugar happens in plants. So photosynthesis happens in plants and something called blue-green algae, which is actually a bacteria. But these are only the only ones that can actually do this photosynthesis and make their sugar this way. So what they do is they actually use carbon dioxide, which is a gas. So we've got carbon dioxide, which comes from just the environment, so from the actual surroundings. It floats around in the air. That goes into a leaf. So all this happens in a leaf. We have water, which comes from the roots of an actual plant. Carbon dioxide, water. In a leaf, so this reaction happens in a leaf. And this arrow means that a reaction has happened. So carbon dioxide water, a reaction happens in a leaf, and we produce glucose here, which is our chemical energy. And as a byproduct, we also produce oxygen. Now, one thing I've left out is, okay, we've made our chemical energy, but where does energy come from? The energy itself comes from the sun. So the one thing is, so this happens in leaf, but we also need the sun's light because the sun rays actually have energy, and what happens, the plant uses that sunlight and traps it in the form of glucose. So this is the actual equation, the chemical equation. Six moles or six molecules of carbon dioxide and six molecules of H2O, which is water, in the presence of the leaf and energy from the sun makes the glucose, C6H12O6, and oxygen. That happens for photosynthesis, and that happens for plants. And what these plants do with that sugar is they make, out of that sugar, they can make proteins, which they need. So we need proteins, but again, plants also need proteins. We said in the last video that the energy uses of all organisms are to make proteins, so they also need to make proteins. They need to make energy as well, so they can use that energy, and I'll go over quickly in a second why, how they can use that to make energy. But they need that glucose to make energy to make proteins, to build its actual structure. So cellulose, you might have heard that before, cellulose is in its walls of, of plants, and cellulose comes from glucose. So these are some of the reasons why plants actually need to make glucose. And the way they can make energy, so I mentioned making energy, the way they can make energy out of glucose is this other process, this process of respiration. This is what respiration was. Respiration occurs in something called a mitochondria. 
for most parts, especially aerobic, and I'll go over aerobic next video, but mitochondria, which is in cells, and I'll go over this whole uh, picture here in the next video, so don't get too scared. But more, my, what the cellular respiration actually is, this is cellular respiration here, we've got glucose, which we, can't, we got from making sugar from photosynthesis, and we also have oxygen, which we also got from photosynthesis, so photosynthesis gave us glucose and oxygen, and now we use glucose and oxygen to produce carbon dioxide, which is that gas, water, and energy. So this was the important part. We now have energy. And we got that from breaking down glucose with the help of oxygen to release this energy. So now we have released this energy. And if you notice the actual equation, so this is photosynthesis. Here we've got carbon dioxide and water producing glucose and oxygen. And cellular respiration, which is this part here, is glucose plus oxygen producing carbon dioxide and water. So it's actually the reverse. Looks exactly the opposite, and they are the opposite, but they are very different reactions. You can see here this is so making sugar, even though the actual stuff you need is the same, the molecules, but the actual reaction is very different. Right? But you are right, it's actually the reverse. So photosynthesis is the opposite of cellular respiration, more or less. But now we have released this energy, and we call it energy in our body, we call it ATP. ATP. And remember from the last video, what do we need to have energy for? Well, energy need is there for, to make organic molecules. We need energy to be able to move, to grow and divide our cells. So growth plus division. We need it to repair our cells, repair and maintenance of our cells, and also for transport. Right? So these are some reasons why we need to have cellular respiration. And cellular respiration happens in all organisms. So in animals, in plants, in bacteria, they all need energy. And the way they get energy is through this process. So they get glucose from photosynthesis originally. And then they use that glucose to make energy. Now, the actual dot point says describe the role of photosynthesis and respiration in ecosystems. So, in an ecosystem or any environment, how does both photosynthesis and respiration link together? So, we said earlier that, for example, plants, they get this carbon dioxide from the environment, from the atmosphere, and they help to make that into glucose. And then what happens is they also release this oxygen, which was here. So, they use carbon dioxide. This was used up here and they release oxygen. This part was the photosynthesis part. Photosynthesis. And photo just means like energy from the sun, and synthesis means making. So they use the energies from the sun to make ATP. So here we've used CO2 and make glucose and release oxygen. And then in cellular respiration, which all organisms do, in cellular respiration, we use oxygen to release energy. So we use oxygen plus glucose to release energy. And we also, we also as a byproduct, release carbon dioxide. So now we have used oxygen here and released carbon dioxide. And then the whole cycle goes again. So you can see this cycle goes on and on and on. So we actually need to have plants because plants produce our oxygen and plants don't mind us because we give them carbon dioxide. Well, they don't mind us as long as we don't chop them off. But they, they give us, we give us, we give them carbon dioxide, which they can then use to make more oxygen. Right. So this is a cycle. It just keeps going in a cycle. Photosynthesis happens in plants only, plants and blue, blue, green algae. Cellular respiration happens in all animals, or so even plants have to make cellular respiration. But they're linked together. So yeah, that's how they're linked. And again, photosynthesis makes makes energy in the form of glucose, and they can also use that same glucose to make cellulose for plants, which is their structure in their cells, their, their wall structure, and we use respiration to make energy, and we needed, we and other organisms needed to make organic molecules to move, to grow, and to divide, to repair, and our repair maintenance of our cells, and to transport molecules. I hope this was useful. Thank you for watching.